7 Action Newsroom. First of five, those shootings in Canada's capital city. President Obama just speaking moments ago, calling the shootings tragic and saying, quote, we're all shaken by it. All right now, police in Ottawa are still searching for other possible suspects. Things are developing pretty rapidly since those shots were fired this morning. And we have Team 7 coverage from both sides of the border at this hour. Let's start with Julie Bonovich live tonight in Windsor. Hi, Jeff. We're right by the riverfront. I met with Windsor Police earlier this afternoon. They tell me that they are asking their people to be vigilant about suspicious activity. They are also putting their own police force on high alert and making sure that they're looking for suspicious activity, especially because there is a threat of a possibly two more shooters on the loose in Ottawa. You're watching the chaos as it unfolds inside Canada's capital today. A shootout between police and a gunman who burst into the Parliament building in Ottawa. We watched the shocking video with Windsor's police spokesperson minutes after he had a briefing with his police chief and federal government. Canada's uh, threat level has been elevated from low to medium. Sergeant Matthew Diasti says this shooting is coincidental to the threat level being raised because of Canada's help in the fight against ISIS. We have uh, intelligence from uh, our, our local, federal and, and provincial governments that uh, there is no immediate threat to our communities here in Windsor and the surrounding region. Witnesses to the shooting at the Parliament say at least 30 shots were fired. Members of Parliament holding their weekly caucus meetings thought it was dynamite or construction noise. The Parliament sergeant at arms eventually shot and killed the shooter. Before the shooting at Parliament, a second shooting happened. A Canadian soldier standing guard at the National War Memorial was shot. The soldier later died at the hospital. Police still will not say if the soldier's shooting is connected to the Parliament shooting. Today's shootings come two days after another Canadian soldier was killed in a hit and run by a person who recently converted to Islam. In light of everything, Windsor police are asking people to remain vigilant. If you're witnessing suspicious, suspicious activity to call police, or if you become aware of anything, or you're hearing uh, things that are suspicious to you, and the sergeant telling me even if that's secondhand information or thirdhand information, they want to hear about it. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, I'm talking with people down here by the riverfront and in the downtown area to see how they are feeling today and what the atmosphere is here for them. Reporting live from Windsor, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News. Our team coverage continues right now. Let's go live to Simon Shaquette, live in downtown Detroit, with more on how the FBI tonight is responding. Simon? Jeff, the United States and Canada are longtime allies, and that is very important when examining this situation. Meantime, authorities here on this side of the border are tracking the situation very closely. Obviously, we've got a common border, but we're so closely tied in everything we do. So if you look at the issues in the Middle East right now, if you look at Iraq, if you look at Afghanistan, uh, we're linked so closely with the Canadians and the Brits that um, you know, anything that happens there is going to raise concerns here. Former FBI special agent in charge Andrew Arena has spent an entire career fighting terrorism in Detroit, overseeing the arrest and prosecution of the Al Qaeda terrorist operative known as the Underwear Bomber. Analyzing the threat against Americans in the wake of a deadly shooting in Ottawa, he points to the FBI working tirelessly to make sure we aren't victimized here. Workplace violence, these active shooter type scenarios, I mean, it's it unfortunately is part of the world we live in. It's what we have to face as a society. Arena says our enemies have watched Canada remain a longtime ally of the U.S. Canada faces many of the same issues that we face in this country with respect to homegrown radicalization. Um, they've been our partner in many of these uh, issues overseas, so. Um, it really doesn't surprise me. Is this most recent attack linked to ISIS? What motivated the person? Who are their associates? And how did they plan the shooting? Arena warns about jumping to conclusions before all the facts come in. I'm sure the, the FBI and the intelligence community is really monitoring what's going on. You know, is this linked to some type of a terrorist threat? Um, is this some kind of a homegrown radicalization? Is this part of a bigger plan? And I did receive a statement from FBI headquarters in Washington. The statement reads as follows. The FBI has remar reminded our field offices and government partners to remain vigilant in light of recent calls for attacks. We stand ready to assist our Canadian partners as they deal with the ongoing situation in their capital. Now reporting live from downtown, Simon Shaquette, 7 Action News. All right, Simon, thanks so much for that update tonight. And of